Savage Life family, another update on this amazing blockchain called Ethereum Classic. So definitely stay tuned as there is plenty of news to discuss and talk about. Smash that like and subscribe. Now, ladies and gentlemen, take a look at Ethereum Classic is currently ranked at 34. I believe it will continue to drop down in rank as these newer coins take harder hits and they're unable to bear it unlike Ethereum Classic, which is well established at the current moment. At $26, it may look quite depressing, especially if you were the individuals who bought above $100 price points. It may look like it's never going to reach there. But ladies and gentlemen, we are still incredibly early. So we're definitely going to hop right into it. We can see Ethereum Classic has a market cap of $3,494,000,000 at the current moment and a volume in the past 24 hours of $320 million. So pay attention to that volume because it's all going to connect. Now the first article that we are going to discuss, shout out to Peter Cordy who it was mentioned by him on Twitter and he was the one who gave me an awareness of what is happening. Now a pro crypto president has won the South Korea election. Last winter, Yoon minted an NFT of his signature on the Icon blockchain. Icon is just another cryptocurrency, it's currently ranked 103 in market cap which is priced at less than a dollar. So why is this so incredibly important? Now, if you guys didn't know, South Korea has become the third largest crypto trading market in the world. What does that mean? A huge chunk of volume comes from South Korea and that is incredibly important, especially when discussing Ethereum Classic since a majority of the volume has come from South Korea in the previous spikes that we have seen in May. Now, he is a pro crypto advocate and he has plenty of plans regarding cryptocurrencies in the country of South Korea. And one of those is to increase the threshold of capital gains taxes on crypto profits from $2,000 all the way to $40,000. Now, that is a huge plus for crypto traders and it gives them more and more incentives to continue trading to continue buying crypto in the country, knowing that you have much more of a gap in terms of capital gains tax to hit you across the head. So ladies and gentlemen, if we take a look at the volume breakdown from Ethereum Classic, this is why it is incredibly important. Now currently the three leading exchanges now are Decoin, OKEx, and Binance, with Upbit being a South Korean exchange. Now recently, in the past, year or so when we had a major spike in volume for ethereum classic we were seeing six seven billion dollars on the 24 hour a majority of that came from the upbit exchange it carried ethereum classic up to those price points because the hype was there now that the hype has died down a little bit in south korea we can see the price points that we are seeing now at 26 dollars with stability due to the fact that Decoin, OKEx, and Binance are currently holding up the price point of Ethereum Classic. If we take a prime look into the volume breakdown of Upbit, what is being poured into Ethereum Classic, we can see in the past 24 hour volume, $15 million is coming from Upbit alone. Yes, a South Korean exchange. $15 million is absolutely no laughing matter, and it could sway the price points up or down a few cents. Now, if you combine it with the majority of the exchanges, for an example, Decoin that's leading the Ethereum Classic volume at the moment is a crypto asset exchange located in Switzerland. Now, they are currently controlling around $11 million from ETC to BTC on that current exchange, but there is multiple crypto pairs when trading Ethereum Classic. There is Ethereum Classic to USDT, which is Tether, Ethereum Classic to other coins, whether if you're swapping it for Binance or Matic or Near, but a majority of that money is coming from this exchange here called Decoin. Now, what else? We have OKEx. Now, from Ethereum Classic to Tether, which is a stable coin, 
16 million dollars in the 24 hour volume is coming from okex alone and this is extremely important and you have to understand this especially if you are an ethereum classic hodler why is that because if some good news or some bad news regarding one of these exchanges comes out, it's going to drastically affect the price of Ethereum Classic. And seeing as a pro crypto candidate has won the presidential election in South Korea, which is headquartered by Upit, then that is a definite plus and a benefit for Ethereum Classic. Now, we're not going to see these reflections on the price points in a matter of days or hours it all depends on the bull run of the market now bitcoin and ethereum have to rally and once that rally begins we're going to see that huge influx of volume come back in from up bit which is drastically going to carry up the price points of ethereum classic so all in all 26 dollars can it drop lower i believe it could drop lower to the 20 dollar price points does that scare you? For long-term hodlers and long-term swing traders, it is an absolute opportunity at the current moment. I believe April and May are going to be incredibly bullish for Ethereum Classic. And out of nowhere, this coin could turn around. So why would you sell at a loss if you absolutely do not need to? Next bit of news we're going to talk about is the Senate has passed a 1.5 trillion dollar spending bill that includes aid for Ukraine. Now, the bill provides about $13.6 billion in aid for Ukraine, but what is happening with the other $1.487 trillion? Well, that's being spread across countries, that's being spread across businesses, military affairs, you know how the Senate acts. Now, where is this money coming from? It is the Federal Reserve, which is printing money, making the machine go brr. You understand now how important cryptocurrency is as we have supply caps on coins like Bitcoin and Ethereum Classic. The current monetary policy that we use, the fiat, has no supply cap, which is why inflation is through the roof at a record breaking 7.9% year over year. And it's only going to continue to increase, especially with this $1.5 trillion spending bill. So what am I expecting with this spending bill? Prices are going to continue to rise for food, for groceries, for gas. It's not going to get better as the U.S. keeps plummeting deeper and deeper into debt. How can you offset this? You have to have assets in multiple places. And if you're leaving more than 50% of your money in a bank, keep in mind that it's getting eaten 8% year over year if you're absolutely doing nothing with it. So don't be afraid to make investments as long as you've done enough to do diligence that you need to do. And keep in mind that this is separating the classes majorly. We're going to see a huge major break off from the rich and the poor. Metal class is going to take the largest impact from this. And you have to be prepared, ladies and gentlemen. Next bit of news here, which is the last bit of news, is there are currently 12,358 open crypto jobs. 28% open in the last week, in the past week. So what does this mean? It's only going to keep increasing regardless of the price fluctuations that we are seeing for crypto. You can see the job demand there is increasing massively. So um, let me go ahead and show you a couple of the companies that are currently hiring for crypto jobs. We have NFL, Nike, Hulu, Visa, Meta, Apple, Nvidia, Disney, PayPal, Google. And if you are into the stock market, these are some stocks that you definitely may have to pay attention to. If they're trying to keep up with innovation, then you're not going to want to miss out on that and grab a couple of shares on these companies as well. So that was a quick little update. Let me know what you think of the current market situation. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.